welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Haley, and today we're going book shopping. Guys, my hair, it always does like this little curly thing, and normally I just straighten it, but yesterday, I I don't know, I something came over me, I like literally, <laughs> I snapped my straightener like in half, like the Incredible Hulk. I don't, I don't know how that happens. I'll insert a picture here because it's literally insane. I don't, I don't know what happened. But it's still so hot that I just like lightly blow dried my hair because I'm like sweating while blow drying my hair. And then whatever happens after that, you know what? It's not up to me. It's not in my hands anymore. It's in Jesus' hands. Anyways, I know that is not why you're here, nor does anyone care. Today, I am heading out to Barnes & Noble. We're gonna do a little book shopping today. And honestly, I was not planning on going book shopping today. So we're just gonna see uh, where the wind takes me. I don't have any specific books in mind that I wanna pick up. I'm just gonna kind of browse around and and see what's up. And I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Well, let's go buy some books. <laughs> So walking into Barnes & Noble, I immediately flocked to the front where they have their promotional tables and they actually had a sale going on. They had 50% off a select number of newer releases. So I grabbed a few books off of the front table, some things that I have been wanting to read for a while, others that I hadn't heard of. Then we went over to the spooky true crime section, creme de la crime, if you will. Um, I actually didn't find anything that I was super into in this section, but they did have the newer Stephen King book on for 50% off. I didn't grab it this time. Let me know if you guys have checked it out. Then I went over to the BOGO section with some newer fiction and obviously to the book talk section where I found Funny You Should Ask, one that I've been wanting to read for a while. So I threw it in the cart. Then my boyfriend decided that book shopping has taken a toll on him and he was famished. So we had to stop at the little Starbucks cafe and he got the most delicious cupcake ever. I got a little chai latte. It was fabulous. Then back to book shopping, really wish that I had straightened my hair, but you know, the, the drill with that. Then we went to my favorite sections, the thriller and romance. Love that they're side by side. Ultimately, nothing in the thrillers was really catching my eye today. So I wandered around the fiction section and then back to romance where I found this beauty. I think I had seen this one before, but I kind of just glossed over it. So I decided to pick it up today. And here is my mini oh my book God. stack of what I picked up. Let's see if these will fill the void. <laughs> Okay, I'm back from the Holy Land and I have quite an exciting haul. So they actually had a few sales going on in there. A bunch of like the newer releases, hardcovers were on sale for 50% off. So I picked up a few of those. They also had two BOGOs going on. One was just like buy one, get one 50% off. And the other was buy two, get your third for free. So pretty good. I think I got six books all together. Usually when I go book shopping, I have a little, a little bit of a plan. Like I have some books in mind that I want to pick up. Today, it was more so my boyfriend's idea. I've been in a little bit of a funk and he was like, let's go book shopping. So I didn't have a plan today. I just kind of went with whatever. I grabbed a few books that I've never seen or really heard much about. And then I did grab two books that have been on my want to read list for a while. One of those books being Funny You Should Ask. And I just love the cover on this one. I think it's so cute. The colors are so pretty. I've heard so many amazing reviews about this book. So I was really excited when they had it in their little book talk section and I picked it right up. This is another romance book. I think it's a second chance romance. I think I've decided that that is my all time favorite romance trope because every summer after and love and other words are my top favorite romance books. So I'm really excited to get into this one. The other book that I've been wanting to read for a while is Reckless Girls by Rachel Hawkins. And this was part of the 50% off sale. So I was like, yes, immediately, yes. This book is a thriller and it sounds so fun. It's about like six 20 somethings that end up going on a little trip on a private secluded island, but they soon figure out that the island is a little bit more cut off from civilization than they initially thought. One person goes missing, another turns up dead and the remaining friends wonder what the dark currents lie beneath this impenetrable paradise. In my mind, it's giving like too hot to handle reality TV vibes meets slasher film. And that sounds like a swell time. So I am pumped for this one. I've been into such a thriller mood recently. So I'll probably read this one first out of the mix. This is another thriller that I picked up from the 50% off sale. I hadn't heard about this one before, but it sounded interesting. So this is I'll Be You by Janelle Brown. Two identical twin sisters and former, former, 
actors and former child actors have grown apart until one disappears and the other is forced to confront the secrets they've kept from each other. It's supposed to be like a super twisty, turny, suspense thriller, which I just absolutely eat up. Let me know if you guys have read this one because I'm super interested. I haven't heard anything about it yet. Okay, same with this one. I had to. If you are new around here, I am a huge Ariana stan. What can I say? So immediately the title of this book caught my eye. I think the cover is really cute as well. Alex Turner is never the one, but always the last one in X dates before finding true love. And now she's determined to find out why. This is supposed to be a super fun rom-com, which of course is another favorite of mine. And it also says that this is the perfect second chance romance. So I feel like I'm really going to like this one. I'm definitely expecting like a cute, cheesy read. And you know, sometimes you're just in the mood for something light and fluffy. Also, this is such a quick read. It's only 293 pages. So really easy to breeze through. Another one from the 50% off pile. I always want to take these stickers off right away. This is That Summer by Jennifer Weiner. I, honestly, I don't know if it's a whiner or a wiener, but I I prefer wiener. So I'm going to keep calling her that. This one is described as a deliciously twisty novel of intrigue, secrets, and transformative power of female friendship. The main character of this book, Daisy, she has like a rebelling teenage daughter. Her husband's a little distant. She's just going through... A little bit of a midlife crisis sort of vibe. When one day she starts getting these misdirected emails for a woman named Diana. And Diana's life is far more interesting than Daisy's. It's very glamorous. She's traveling. She's like this hot single woman. Eventually the two women end up meeting up, becoming friends, and they end up learning that their connection is not quite as accidental as they once thought. So this one also sounds pretty fun and interesting. It's not a romance. It's not quite a thriller. Maybe a little bit of a suspense vibe, but I think it's just like a cute little fiction. The last book that I picked up is by Megan Miranda and I just recently read her book The Last House Guest and I loved it. So I'm really excited to read another book by her. This is another suspenseful thriller novel about a mysterious murder in an idyllic and close-knit neighborhood. And if you checked out my seven thrillers in seven days video, you know that I love a good domestic thriller. This one sounds right up my alley and I am so excited to get started. So those are my finds from my little Barnes and Noble trip. Let me know if you guys have read any of these let me know your thoughts i'll be adding them to my ever-growing tbr list before you leave make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you want to see more videos like this one thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you soon bye